right, guys, welcome back to the show. I'm so glad you're here. Today we are doing a live stream and we're talking about travel business learning plans. And this is part one of a two part series. I started to write this out for you guys to train you this morning. I was like, this is way too big of a topic to just uh, blurt out in one live stream. But if you want to learn how to craft a learning plan for yourself, if you wanna learn the most important components to a learning plan, if your goal is growth, and if you wanna learn how to create a, a learning plan that really in bite-sized chunks to avoid overwhelm, then keep on watching. That's what we're talking about today on the live stream. guys don't forget to take a moment to like subscribe and ring that notification bell over on YouTube we put out amazing content every single week to help you grow your travel businesses and that is the best way to make sure you don't miss a thing and if you're new here please type in I'm new in comments even if you're watching it later because I want to say welcome to our community personally to you and if you are new you might not know who I am my name is Cindy Williams I am uh, a veteran in the travel industry. I've been doing this for over 27 years at this point, and I own and operate my own award-winning travel agency, but I'm best known for being the CEO of Careers on Vacation, which helps people just like you learn how to launch, grow, and supersize your travel businesses all over the world. So let's get started. Today, we are talking about how to create a business learning plan, and this is part one of two. You know, I really say you have two hats when you're growing a travel business. The first hat is to learn how to be an amazing travel agent. And the second hat is to learn how to be an online business owner. Both of those things have to come together if you really want to realize big success in this industry, especially in today's environment. The good news is that, you know, not like when I started 27 plus years ago, you had to work for an agency or you had to work for a corporation to really make progress within the industry. That's not the case today. The beauty of today is you can launch your business from home or while you travel the world or however you want to set it up based on what's important to you. But because you're running the business part, there are really now two components instead of one to be a successful travel agent. So we're going to dive in. We're going to break it into two components. Um, and by the way, I know it's back to school time. Who else is exhausted? Can you just tell me in comments like, woo, my kids are back to school. They're not back to school yet. I are started back last week and they had two days and then they're back this week and it's just i feel like emotionally exhausting but we're getting back into the routine the good news is i know about a week or two from now we're all going to be back in a routine and we're all going to have a little more time on our hands because the kids are at school for a good chunk of the time every single day which will allow you to move forward in your business so i really want you to be intentional about how you're thinking about learning for yourself right now and what is the learning that you can do that will move you the furthest? And that's really what today's live stream is about. By the way, this is live. So if you are, if you have questions, um, put them in comments and I'm gonna go at the end and check questions. Hey, Kristen, hello. I see a lot of you saying hello already. So at the end, um, uh, I'm going to definitely check questions. So if you have any, as we go here in the live stream, feel free to pop those in. Um, so let's dive right in. Why is crafting, why is crafting a learning plan key to your success? Why is that important? Well, right now in particular, guys, people are not just looking for any travel agent. They're looking for those of us who do have some skill in the industry. We have some experience. We are certified a lot of times. Now, not saying you have to do all of those things. And even if you're new, there's ways to get training and how even some ways to train yourself, which we're going to dive into today but at least being mindful of the fact that consumers are looking for people who are confident, trained, and can really help them because navigating travel in this climate compared to, you know, 2019, early 2020, it's a whole different ball game. So it's even challenging me and I'm 27 years in, right? So consumers are looking for that person who knows what they're doing and feeling confident about what they do. The only way to get skilled and trained, maybe certified if you choose to do that, it's not required in our industry, but is definitely a help, is 
through learning and through committing yourself to ongoing learning. This is an industry that always has a lot of ongoing learning, but in particular right now. So that's the why of why it's the key to your success and why you should have a learning plan always. Even at my level, being a CEO and having the success that we do, I have a learning budget every single year and I have goals of things that I'm gonna learn that don't cost me anything and I have a budget put aside for things that I want to learn to help build my business to the next level and also to help all of our clients with their businesses too. So learning should be a cornerstone as a business owner, it really should. Um, the other thing I wanna kinda of touch on is the biggest mistakes I see new travel agents make. A lot of times what you guys will do is you'll chase this rabbit and chase that rabbit and chase this rabbit and it just becomes overwhelming. It's like there's so many things, right? So I thought just sitting down, I mean taking this little 15, 20 minutes, maybe it'll go to 30 minutes a day, uh, of getting clarity on what should you be learning to move you the fastest will help you guys, especially if you're feeling like you're in that rabbit uh, chasing phase. A good mapped out learning plan is, is the best way to go for sure, especially if you're taking your growth seriously. Um, by the way, if you're new, don't forget we have our free masterclass, the five shifts to a six figure travel business and beyond. If you're thinking about getting into the industry, that is a great place to start because that session is free. I literally created it because we get so many comments, you guys on social media and thank you for the hundreds of messages on Instagram and YouTube and all of the places that is free. That's a totally free resource. Go take that masterclass if you're in thinking about it phase. Um, and that will help you decide if the industry is right for you. But if you know it's right for you, keep on listening. That's what we're going to cover today. So what do you need to consider on your learning plan? And again, I said this is two segments we're breaking this into today. So this week we're going to be talking about how to build your learning plan on the travel agent, how to be the best travel agent you can be side. Next week we're going to be covering how do you build a learning plan for your business owner things? How do I become the best online business owner that I can be? So it will be one training plan at the end, but I just wanted to do it in chunks so you guys can really think in those verticals. Like you have two jobs. So this week we're going to focus on how do you become the best travel agent ever? Um, so let's kind of dive in now to be an amazing, um, travel agent, first thing you have to decide what you're going to sell. The good news is you don't have to sell the whole world. Don't fall into that trap of, Oh, I need to know everything. It's so overwhelming. And I quit. Like, no, you can start just with Disney. You can start just with cruises. You can start just with a type of travel, adventure travel or certain destinations. Maybe you're going to do fun in the sun or you're going to do all inclusive. So niche it down if it feels too overwhelming to you, which nine times out of 10, when you're brand new into the industry, there's like, I still don't know everything about the whole world. And I've been doing this a quarter of a century, over a quarter of a century, right? So niche it down to what feels good to you. What do you love to sell? What are you excited about to sell? So start there. And then you're going to need to get some destination training. So if you're going to sell Disney, you need to train on Disney. If you're going to sell all inclusives, you need to research that. If you're going to sell uh, Australia, you need to really know the ins and outs of that destination. What is the high low season? What are the top things to do in that location? What is the geography? What are the main airports you fly in out of? Right? So that destination, you really need to know your destinations that you sell backwards and forwards. That really helps you serve your client at a, hard, at a higher level. And we're going to talk about customer service here in a second too. But decide what you're going to sell and learn everything about those destinations. And then when you get the pretty email that says, oh, this tour company wants to give you training on African safaris. And you're like, oh, that seems fun. No, <laughs> resist. You need to resist the temptation. Is, are you selling African safaris? If you're not, don't like that doesn't need to go on your learning plan. I know the marketing is so beautiful. And as a traveler, obviously you love travel or you wouldn't be in this industry. We can get distracted and go, oh, I want to learn about that. If it's not on the things that are you're going to sell list this year, then don't just table it, put a pin in it. That will, that training will be there another time. Focus on staying laser focused and learning about the destinations you plan to sell. The next thing is once you've established the destinations you're going to sell, you need to know what suppliers, what are, what's the product, what are the hotels, what are the resorts that are in that destination that you're going to sell? What are going to be the brands that you're going to be your preferred brands or the brands you're going to be loyal to? What are the tour companies that service that particular destination? What are the main airline carriers? You know, if you're in a certain area, like if you're in the Northeast compared to California, compared to the South, you're going to have different airlines that you're dealing with on a regular basis too. Like to that level, 
think about what are the, what's the supplier info I need to learn. I would start with resorts, of course, that's gonna be your biggest um, abundance bringer as you start your, your business, and uh, tour suppliers and things like that that service those areas. So again, we're talking about how you build your own training plan. We, when we work with our clients in Careers on Vacation, we map this with them. We sit down and go, okay, here's the suppliers you should learn, here's what you should learn about your destination, and we build this plan with them. Today is about how you do that yourself, and you guys all sell different things, so you have to think about these questions for yourself so you can really understand, what do I need to learn? Destination first, supplier stuff second. The next thing you really wanna think about is how am I gonna research and curate thoughtful vacations. This is not about what's on Expedia tap. People can do that crap themselves, right? This is about what do you bring to the table in terms of the types of vacations you're gonna sell people? How do you curate those? How do you research You know what one family might need compared to what another family might need? What is that process going to look like for you? How do you wanna serve your clients? And then get the learning that will help you meet that need right? So um, think about that. And I put that one in there because I think it's really important because a lot of people, you know, still have the mentality of why do I need a travel agent? Well, if you're just looking for that online, you know, cheapest little package, that's not really your ideal client, guys. You want someone who really understands your value and understands that you're going to bring that something special. So you have to decide what the something special is and decide what you need to learn to incorporate that into your entire package of what your company or what you as an agent is going to be offering. All right, next one, and kind of obvious, but where are you going to book your trips, right? Are you using one of the travel agent systems that's out there? Are you going to book through suppliers directly? If you're really, really new, please don't let this overwhelm you if you're not even like signed up as a travel agent yet. Just know once you start that process of becoming a travel agent and you get logins, you have a thousand different ways that you can book travel. You can either go through suppliers directly. There's even some subsystems like Vax and different systems that are out there where you can actually book on uh, an online system where there's different packages and things like that. So, um, but those are, that's a decision you have to make so you can build your learning plan. What am I going to sell? If I'm gonna sell Disney, that's super easy. You're just gonna book it on the Disney site, right? So let me go through the Disney College of Knowledge, for example, let me learn how to book, which, which is really funny because in the Disney College of Knowledge, there's no how to book on their system, which I find kind of funny because the College of Knowledge is fantastic. I just find it ironic. And in, in Careers on Vacation, we actually do extra training. We have a class every month that is how to actually book your Disney vacation for your clients because oddly, Disney doesn't have it. What the heck, Disney? Anyway, I love you anyway. We're going to keep supporting you. But uh, even if they don't have that piece, then you still have to have that in your learning plan, like make some mock reservations, go in the system, play around with it till I figure it out, ask questions. You know, what is going to be your learning plan to learn those systems for the areas that you sell? Kind of that whole, the mechanics of booking, right? What that mechanical piece, what are going to be your go-tos? And the more you use them, the more you practice, the better you will get at it. Um, the next thing that you want to think about as a travel agent is, what is going to be your measure of service? How are you going to deliver exceptional service? How is working with you different from working with the next travel agent online or the next company or, or booking online or one of the, uh, the OTAs, the online travel agencies, right? So I want you, the reason I want you to think about this is you can think, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm great with people. I'll have great customer service. That's not all there is to like, exceptional customer service like what are your protocols going to be are you going to have best practices in place are you going to automate anything in your business how are you going to communicate with your clients is it going to be through phone is it going to be through text is it going to be online are you going to have email templates built out so the reason you think about these things is i want you to start with what is the end user experience the goal is that you're in this part of your learning plan is i want my customer to have an amazing experience with my agency then you back, you kind of reverse uh, engineer that and go, okay, what needs to happen? <laughs> you know, do, do I get an email? Do I send them a reminder? Do I check in after travel? What are going to be your points of contact in your service model as whether you're an individual agent, you should think about this, or you are an agency for all of your agents. I did a video 
it's not public. It's I did a video for my all my clients that are in my careers on vacation um, program last week, and I was showing them the behind the scenes of how we organize our agency, how all of our postcards and note cards and everything in alliance with that customer service model, how we organize it at the agency and make it available to our agents too. And we got a lot of good feedback on that video because people are like, oh, this is so helpful. Now I can see like in the real world how this piece goes. But you guys need to think about that. If you're building your own learning plans, um, think about that from a service perspective. And then after service, be, uh, I want you to think about sales. Like a lot of people go, I'm a great salesperson. Selling anytime you, and if you're a great salesperson, that's great because you already have that skill set. Maybe you're not a great salesperson and you need to work at it. Either way, you need to decide what type of salesperson you're going to be in this industry. Are you going to be a consultative salesperson? Are you going to be, you know, a uh, more upfront salesperson? How are you going to qualify those leads? How are you going to sell to them effectively? And how are you going to close in a way where it meets today's standards, where I always say like we don't do the car salesman um, selling in anything that we train. It really is a consultative approach in terms of how that first interaction takes place, how we give a proposal, how we match the needs of the client and bring them back in a conversation of here's how I matched your needs. And it's a natural progression to close the sale. So, you know, th we have every in terms of like tools that we train our agents at our agency with and that we train our clients to do in the careers on vacation program, it's broken down right down to here's your talk track. Here's what you should say. Here's the process you should follow. Here's your workflow for sales. So I want you guys to think about these things because a lot of people, especially new agents, don't realize how much goes into making it look effortless. Of course, we all want to have our hair blowing in the wind and, and be in Ibiza and, and be doing all of the things, right? We, of course, and that's part of our lifestyle too, which is amazing. But in order to really live that lifestyle at the highest levels, you have to be good at all this stuff. You have to learn how to do all of this stuff. You have to execute it in your business. And it's okay to jump in and trial by fire as long as you're learning from the mistakes that you make. And um, just putting that out there because it can feel like a lot. Don't get overwhelmed. All of this stuff can be learned. Just like with any other job or any other career, you had to start somewhere with learning these things. So I hope this was helpful to kind of break through the different blocks on those are all of the things on that should be on your learning plan for how to be the best travel agent you can be. What are you going to sell? Um, you know, uh, destination wise, what is there to sell supplier wise? How am I going to research and curate thoughtful trips to this destination? What are the mechanics? Where am I going to book this stuff at track it, collect my commission, all of those things. How is working with me from a customer service standpoint going to be top notch and different from everyone else? And then how am I going, what are my sales processes? What are the protocols I'm going to have in place for, uh, for selling. If you're doing all of those things effectively, you will be an amazing travel agent. And remember, there's whole, still a whole nother layer to your learning plan we're going to talk about next week, just to give you guys a sneak peek, how to bring your business online and be relevant in that online space, how to set your business up for success, how to create brand awareness, how to market, how to create a recurring business model. That is so key. And having regular revenue come in, how to upsell, cross sell insurance, um, measuring your analytics, automation, all of those things. We're going to see how it was too much for just one session, y'all. Um, we're going to cover those things next week. So I'm going to get to questions here in just a second, but I want to remind everyone, you guys travel is back. I hope you are taking advantage of this huge return to travel. I hope you're following ASTA and all the amazing updates that show the data that consumers are traveling again. 80, I think it was 85% of travelers that were traveling in 2019 have already traveled uh, in the current state. So that is a hu that's a huge thing. And then certain vendors are hitting 2019 sales levels, which is amazing. So travel is back, but the thing that's different is people are feeling much more comfortable booking with travel agents. So there is a huge demand in our industry, but consumers are looking for that person who's confident and ready and has systems in place. Um, so if you want to take advantage of travel's return, if you want to just skip and go, oh my gosh, how do I position myself as an expert? How do I learn all of these things? Cindy, help me get all of this in place. I want to remind you, this is what we do every day through our careers on vacation program. This is our 12 week mastermind that walks you through not just amazing training on how to do all of these great things, 
but you get to work with a one-on-one -on -one coach that walks you through the process, helps you get all of these systems and protocols in place. And this really is the difference. Our in the education field in the travel industry, you get to work with humans in our program. We get great feedback all the time just about our amazing working knowledge of the industry and how to implement. And of course, we are over 130 case studies on YouTube now. We are the most reviewed educational program in the travel industry, and we're so proud of that. So go apply at careersonvacation.com forward slash ready now if you want to work with me and my team. We'd love to talk to you about your goals and see if it's a match to work together. All right, I'm going to go over. Let me grab my glasses and see if we have any questions from this week. So many fun things. Hey, Garfields, uh, tuning in from Jamaica. We're headed to Jamaica for our gold digger in November. So we are gonna be headed your way soon. Kristen said, kids go back September 1st in Massachusetts, great. Hey, Carrie, good morning to you. Carrie's in our mastermind right now, you guys. We were answering questions for her just yesterday on our mastermind call. <laughs> Carrie says, a badass salesperson. That's right, Carrie. We are gonna do that. Carrie, mod seven. I know you're not mod seven yet based on our conversation yesterday, but we got you covered. We have talk tracks, we have workflows, we have all of the things to get you where you wanna be. All right, you said, I think I saw a specific dollar amount on your page of how much um, minimum package is of booking, 10,000 or above. Oh yeah, I love that. So yeah, on our website, um, and this is, this is the climate right now, guys, if you're an exceptional agency or an exceptional agent with a clientele. I mean, we can't keep up with how many um, leads we're getting. I mean, honestly, all of my agents are maxed out. So we, we do have on our website, we are now accepting clients with budgets of $10,000 or more. And you might think, oh my gosh, well, you're turning down all of this business. Well, we're not turning it down because obviously I work with hundreds of clients that are building travel agencies. So we have links built in where they can go to other agencies if their budget's not quite that big. But we're getting to handpick our clients right now because our agency has built a reputation, because we have a huge database, because um, we are in a, the flip, the script has flipped, right? It's kind of like, we're gonna, we, can, we have the ability to raise the bar a little bit. There was a uh, article someone did the other day where there's an agent that's so in demand, he's charging a $5,000 uh, annual fee to work with him each client and there's a wait list to work with him so yeah uh, when I say people are, are looking to work with those that have systems and processes and that they want that level of care and service in today's climate absolutely it, here's the rule of business guys like if you um, if someone has a problem and you can solve that problem you can charge them for it so that's that's the thing about the climate today like we know our business backwards and forwards that learning plan that we just went through we've done all of those things we know our destinations backwards and forward we know what to sell we know what suppliers to use we know how to protect our clients we know the choices to right we know all of those things and that's why our clients are like oh i'm gonna and it's it, it's funny because we always have our clients work with us on our their big bucket list trips but sometimes they'll do the weekend to vegas or the weekend to disney on their own because it's just easier to do online they're coming to us for everything right now so yeah it, it definitely has changed and if you are uh positioned properly you're positioned as an expert you're you'll be able to do that um carrie says so travel has not been affected by the i think uh, i think you meant affected gotcha little typo no worries by delta yeah i mean i think there is some that's happening i think um but we are still have we still have plenty of clients that are traveling that are want to travel that are ready to travel especially if they've been vaccinated there's a higher confidence level we're finding with those clients um so i think it's impacted to some degree but here's the good news too you don't have to work with every client in the world to be a six-figure or seven-figure travel agency you're going to work with 100 200 300 500 clients a year that do want to travel so again it's about making sure you're that, that's a whole other topic, but like making sure you're finding your ideal clients through your marketing. Some of that we're going to dive into how to build your learning plan for that next week. But becoming an excellent marketer allows you to really pre-screen, qualify, and decide which clients you want to work with, Carrie. That's a great question. Um, <laughs> how do I do that? I want that kind of business. Well, you're already in COV. We're going to show you everything you need to know. I know you're only in like week three, so don't, <laughs> don't worry. You got We got 12 weeks to go, my friend. We're good. Uh, who is that agent that charges the five dollars a wait list? I like I'd like to follow him. Kristen, that um Kristen, you're in our mastermind too. It, look in the COV mastermind group. 
Someone put the article in there. That's how I found out about it. It's inside the COB Mastermind secret group. And I think it was put out by Asta. If for those of you who don't have access inside our mastermind, you can find it that way. But I love that story. And I was like, yep, you could, if you, you totally could do that right now. I love it. So guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Tune in next week. Remember, we're going to create the whole learning plan for what is as equally, if not more so important. Well, it's equally important. You have to be a good travel agent at, at first and foremost. But next week, if it doesn't matter if you're a great travel agent and no one's calling you, then, then that's, that's a lead flow problem. So next week, we're going to talk about how do you get relevant online? What learning plans do you need to put together uh, to help you with that whole process? So definitely tune in for that, guys. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out my other content to help you grow and scale your very own travel business. And also, I invite you to travel around the world with me and find out what I'm doing in my portable, profitable, award-winning travel business. Check out the videos.